it's me again. I was playing around with makeup today, as you can see. This side, pretty normal. Just did a classic brown smoky eye with a little bit of a purple twist, and I had a red lip on for that. Very classic. I like doing two sides differently. I get practice on two different things out of one day. And then this side is a hot mess. For whatever reason, this side just got all watery, and I could not keep eyeliner on this side to save my life. I was going to do the whole rainbow eye look that's, you know, going around on Instagram these days, and, I mean, made the best of it, put on some rainbow tears, try and make it look like it was on purpose and artistic. So, there's that. Um, since I'm here, I was doing the whole, am I a sock or is it bird box? Give me a thumbs up if you understood that reference. The whole stack of books that I didn't get to the other day, I have a charged battery this time. Still haven't found my camera battery, but... Alright, uh, so, Wanted, A Girl for the Horses. Um, I had my horse phase, as many people did when they were younger. And this one is about a girl, um just before World War I starts, um, going to work uh, as a stable hand. And she's about 16. Um, it's pretty interesting. Probably not for the under 12 crowd. Um, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Classic for a reason. This is one of my all-time favorites. Lorna Doone. This one, I don't think is very common, but if you can get a hold of it, you should definitely read it. It's, uh, pretty hefty, and kind of old. Um, it is 646 pages long. Um, very interesting. I'm gonna leave that mysterious and cryptic. And then, I couldn't pick just one, but, uh, Jules Verne. The first science fiction author, uh, everybody's familiar with 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, uh, Around the World in 80 Days, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Um, there's also ones about going to the moon in a rocket before that was even scientifically conceptualized. Uh, he was totally off base, but it's very interesting. Um, my, I got a nice copy because I love these so much with the gold on the edges. Um, Jules Verne, always a very interesting read. Um, my camera hasn't fallen down yet, so you get the last batch. Uh, The Born Identity by Robert Ludlum. The movies were what I first watched, and when I saw, you know, based on a story by or book by, I always gotta go read it. Um, so that's how I discovered Robert Ludlum. I like all of his books. He has sadly passed away, and so after the original trilogy, there are more. They don't count, on my opinion. Uh, the books have way more plot going on than the movies. I understand why they had to cut it out. There was just too much. Um, the Artemis Fowl series. Um, it's meant for children, or rather youth, um, but I came into it as an adult very well written fantasy series. Um, I got the whole copy for my birthday a couple years ago. Um, what he did was he came up with a quiz and I had to answer questions about each book that I had read in order to get to the next one. So it was kind of like a book scavenger hunt. It was also kind of interesting because he hadn't actually read them so he had to get questions off the internet and some of them were wrong. So I was like flipping through them like, no, 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 I, I got it right. <laughs> um, this one is nonfiction and quite old, The Handbook to Natural of Natural Beauty, but uh, it's what got me started onto like skincare and um, makeup and um, it's got recipes for making your own stuff um, and not everything 
may be applicable, but some things are very much applicable. So it's very interesting. And um, the author, Virginia Castleton, um, lovely. I'm sure she's not quite that pretty now, but she her tips have obviously paid off. This one is the last one for now. It's also nonfiction. The complete step-by-step -step cookbook. If you don't know anything about cooking, you should learn, because everybody's got to eat at some point. And this will take you through on the yellow pages the technique, and then on the white pages it'll have recipes how to use that technique. And it's got step-by-step -step picture instructions. Yes, they're in black and white. Yes, it's old, but if you find this at like a library book sale, used bookstore, grab it because they don't make them like this as much anymore where it's just simple and to the point. They're not trying to sell you something. They're not trying to be super fancy technique, but it does cover all of the techniques you could possibly need to feed yourself and other human beings in any given lifetime. Uh, I will probably at some point do a makeup video, cooking or baking video. Um, there's a couple of challenges on Facebook, uh, not Facebook, well Facebook, but YouTube and uh, Instagram that I would like to try. So maybe those will be coming soon. Bye.